Hey, did you know you can go to colinmullen.com in order to get art and art prints? That's why I made the website, colinmullen.com. So real quick, I want to talk about this painting. So this painting is of a grackle and I'm not super proud of it. <laughs> It's uh, it's fine. It feels like it's missing a lot, and I don't really know how to improve it. And just ha had a bunch of issues this week with like health stuff that I'm just like, you know what? Uh, I got some painting done, and sometimes that's good enough. So uh, I, I improved my skill a little bit because I actually got paint on canvas. I actually did some work this week. Is this gonna sell? Is this gonna be the best painting I've ever done? No. But I got some work done and that pushes me towards my goal of being a better artist because I did some work. So for this, good enough. Remember to be kind to yourselves, y'all. Anyway, let's talk about this week's subject matter. Um, there's been several climate activists that have made the news recently and I was gonna cover the cake thing with the Mona Lisa a little while back, but then like other stuff happened, I don't even remember. Probably NFTs or AI art or something, and I'm tired of talking about that, so we're talking about something else. <laughs> but more recently, a group by the name of, uh, was it Just Stop Oil? Just great name, by the way. Um, very straight to the point on what they're trying to achieve in the UK. Um, threw some soup on a famous Van Gogh painting and it got the internet in a huge hubbub. The billion different posts that I saw on various websites say, oh, they're idiots. You know, don't they realize that, you know, oil in oil paints is, is not the... So doing a monicum of research about why they did it and all that, uh, it seems like that at least with the situation with the tomato soup, they were aware of the fact that the, the painting had a covering over it and uh, would not have picked that target. Otherwise, um, I don't know much about this group as an American outside of, you know, what I see in the news. Um, I'll, I'll tell you this much. It could be very much a situation where it's like PETA where they have like a um, uh, express goal that I can very much agree with where it's like stop animal abuse. And I'm like, yeah, I like that. But then you like look into it more and then um, it, it turns out they're actually garbage. Um, very easily could be the case with this Just Stop Oil uh, group. I, I could not find anything egregious aside from the fact that they tend to do very over-the-top attention-getting sort of protests in order to actually get in the news and get uh, the conversation back to, hey, there's some stuff going on with uh, climate change and specifically about um, the amount of money that's being funneled towards oil in order to try and, you know, uh, you know, help the environment. The, their their entire group is just called Just Stop Oil. So hopefully they don't have like a, a, a secret cabal of like puppy killing or something like PETA does. Uh, but I want to tell you a story about when I was doing protests. Uh, I, I was doing uh, a few marches in order to, you know, help out stuff going on with uh, homelessness in Austin, the, the town I live in. And uh, I, we, you know, marched with, uh, people that didn't have homes, homeless people. And I remember a story of uh, someone coming up to us and apparently telling a friend of mine, like, hey, look, you got to get these homeless people in suits. Like, they just look real grimy, and it just looks bad when you have them walking around in, in like, whatever clothes. Like, you know, they should dress more professionally if they're going to do this thing. Um, the reason I'm telling that story is because inevitably, when um, you do any sort of protest stuff, they, there are going to be people who critique the method rather than the action. And I don't think that there is a possible way of doing a protest that will get national attention that will get international attention. I mean, I'm an American and I'm talking about something that happened in England. I'll tell you something, the things that we did that got um, much better exposure were definitely the more incendiary sort of stuff that we did, rather than the stuff where we'd march down the street. Dude, I was, I was walking down in the middle of the street for like a couple years, like, and, you know, that didn't get in the news. But then if I do, you know, something like this, I'm definitely getting in the news. So, yeah, maybe, maybe it seems heinous to you, but... It got the job done. The painting's not damaged, and now we're talking about it, you know? I, I think that there's something to be said about that. And and one of the things that they were saying, the reason that they specifically did this now, is that London specifically has a thing where they said, hey, we're not going to give out any more licenses to uh, oil or gas projects uh, because of our, you know, 
claim to want to have a net zero uh, carbon emissions. And they're about to release 100 more license. So that's something they want to draw attention to. Um, I feel like people are also only reading the headline of activists throw tomato soup on painting. And uh, maybe they saw the little clip about it where they, they glue their hands to the walls. And that was it. Like they didn't um, read the article, for example. <laughs> I think by far the stupidest take that I saw was someone saying, oh, don't they realize that oil paintings aren't made with oil, like, you know, from the ground oil, it's made from like crushed up seeds or whatever. And it's like, pro probably, yeah, actually, um, considering that they, they, they say so in some of these articles, but okay. So in the end, at the cost of like, plexiglass cleaning supplies, and maybe they have to get a new frame for it, or they just clean up the frame, um, we are now talking about uh, London's involvement of actually not doing the thing that they, they said they were going to do in order to protect the environment and are now, uh, you know, actually pushing well beyond the limits that they set for themselves. Um, where's the problem here? Like, am I missing something? Like, because people are calling them idiots and I'm like, bro, you didn't even read the article. You didn't even like go and check in on them. Am I missing something? Maybe there's an article that I'm missing because I'm looking at the other stuff that they've done and it, it, yeah, they, they seem to be doing extremely annoying stuff. And as someone who used to do extremely annoying stuff in order to raise issues or raise uh, concerns about things that I had issues with, um, I, I, I can't see how this is a problem. Like the average person is not inconvenienced by this. Maybe they don't get to see the sunflower painting for like an hour. Like come back, go get lunch, come back, and then it'll be there. Like it, you, you'll be fine. I think art can be used politically, even if it's not the original artist's intention. Um, I think that's, you know, very obviously done several times throughout history where people have used uh, paintings or slogans or whatever to advance the goals of real world issues that they have. Uh, I I don't personally see a problem with this, and I, I'm curious to see why people think that this is an issue at all. Um, take this as tacit approval to uh, throw tomato soup at preferably plexiglass paintings of mine. Though, uh, you know, if, if it's getting like super bad, and like the only way we can like, you know, save the environment is to throw tomato soup at my painting, even if it doesn't have plexiglass over it, that's fine. Go for it. Uh, t take that as tacit approval from me that you could do that in the future. It could be other things that I care about as well. You know, just do some research on stuff I, I do, I ask. Um, but, you know, that that's fine with me personally. I, I think that there are things that are more important in life than uh, an individual painting that I did. Um, but what do you guys think? What is your opinion on people not damaging art in order to raise a question about whether or not people should not damage art to talk about politics. Wow, that was a loaded question, wasn't it? Anyway, I need to thank the people on uh, patreon.com slash scarecrow. Uh, you can join them at $5 or more. I'll say your name in the credits here. Uh, you also get access to the Discord, and none of these people signed off on me making this video. So just a heads up, this is on me. So uh, if they disagree with me or if I'm an idiot, um, th that doesn't mean that they agree. Uh, anyway, thank you to my mom and dad. I love you. Thank you, Wap Fu. Thank you, Top Houndor. Thank you, Tom K. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, Terry Maverick. Thank you, Snout Punk. Thank you, Skelecorgi. Thank you, Retrograde. Thank you, Mortis Nautis. Thank you, Micah. Thank you, Maliciousness. Thank you, May. Thank you, Kayla Hollinger. Thank you, Gala. Thank you, Dragon. Thank you, Chiptune Glitch. Thank you, Bubba Fair. Thank you, Blake. Thank you, Bep. Thank you, BD648. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Acrobus. Thank you, Ats! I hope that this was helpful. Um, I, I think I'll often when it comes to activism and people doing stuff, it's often about the method over the message that people get hung up on. Uh, despite the fact that the method uh, is only ever effective 
to get the message out if it is actually eye-catching enough that people care. And it definitely will almost always cause controversy if that's the case. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.